Kilauea erupts again. Latest information on hazards from Hawaii's volcano. Episode 7 of Kilauea's ongoing eruption began at 6.41 p.m. Hawaiian Standard Time, 11.41 p.m. Eastern Time, on January 27, marking the latest phase of volcanic activity at the Halamaumau Crater in Hawaii. Continued lava fountaining from the northern vent has been observed, reaching heights of 100 to 120 feet, while lava flows have covered 15 to 20 percent of the crater floor. This new episode follows a brief lull in activity following episode 6. Kilauea's eruption has significant implications for the local ecosystem, visitors, and residents of Hawaii. While lava flows remain confined to Kilauea's summit caldera, the eruption poses hazards such as emissions of volcanic gases, VOG, volcanic smog, and Pele's hair, a type of volcanic glass, that can pose health risks and environmental challenges. Episode 7 of the ongoing Halamaumau eruption began at 6.41 p.m. Hawaiian Standard Time on January 27 and is currently pouring lava onto the crater floor. Preceded by intermittent lava fountains in the afternoon, a continuous lava fountain began to erupt from the north vent, ejecting numerous lava flows. As of 7.40 p.m. Hawaiian Standard Time, the lava flow had covered 15 to 20 percent of the crater floor. A small fountain and lava flow were also observed erupting from the south vent. Since December 23, 2024, each lava fountain episode has lasted between 13 hours and 8 days, with breaks in activity ranging from less than 24 hours to 12 days. Given the duration of episodes 5 and 6, along with the short breaks in between, the Hawaiian Volcano Observatory HVO, estimates episode 7 will last approximately 10 to 20 hours. Episodic eruptions have occurred before a Kilauea volcano, said Katie Mulligan, a geologist at HVO. The hallmark of episodic eruptions is their recurrence, which allows patterns to be identified. Although this eruption was confined to a closed area in Hawaii Volcanoes National Park, some hazards remain. High levels of sulfur dioxide were released, leading to the formation of VOG, which can cause respiratory problems for people downwind especially those who are vulnerable. Pele's hair, a fragile glass thread, can be carried by the wind and can cause skin and eye irritation. Residents and visitors are advised to avoid contact with the thread. Other hazards include instability of the ground in the area. Hidden lava tunnels and rockfalls are common around the Halamaumau crater, which remains closed to the public for safety reasons. Visitors to Hawaii Volcanoes National Park should exercise caution and stay informed about the eruption through official updates from HVO and the National Park Service. Recommendations include avoiding areas with high gas levels, being aware of Pele's hair and staying on marked trails. HVO continues to monitor the eruption closely and will provide updates as conditions evolve. The current volcano alert level remains at watch, with the aviation color code orange, indicating increased volcanic activity confined to the summit caldera. The USGS Hawaiian Volcano Observatory continues to closely monitor the eruption at Kilauea's summit, in coordination with Hawaii Volcanoes National Park, Mulligan said. Both organizations frequently update their websites with information about the eruption, 